Hi everyone, this is the paper Anomaly Detection and Prototype Selection Using Polyhedron Curvature. I am Benjamin Rojer and my supervisors and co-authors are Dr. Fakhri Kare and Dr. Mark Crowley. Anomaly detection is finding outliers or anomalies which differ significantly from the normal data points uh, and it, it has different applications such as uh, fraud detection. Some methods are uh, LOF, one class SVM, EE and isolation forest. In LOF, a local density is considered per each uh, data point with respect to its neighbors. In one class SVM, uh, a function is estimated uh, where uh, wh wh wherever the function is positive, the points are uh, normal, and where the function is negative, they are uh, anomalous. In EE, we fit the data, uh, the, the Gaussian distribution on the data, and the points uh, far away from the uh, Gaussians uh, are uh, anomalies. In isolation forest, uh, the data, uh, the uh, uh, anomalies are isolated using uh, random trees. Prototype selection is also called instance ranking and numerosity reduction. In the literature, it has two versions, ranking-based or retaining-based, where in ranking-based, the data points are ranked uh, from the most important to the least important, and in retaining-based, a portion of data is retained and the rest of it is thrown away. Uh, some methods are like ENN, DROP3, uh, SOS, SE, PSA, and IR on, on MD. In ENN, uh, a point is uh, removed if uh, the majority of its neighbors are from the, another class. In drop three, the point is removed if its removal uh, increases the, class, uh, uh, the accuracy of uh, KNN classification. In SOS, uh, the boundary points and uh, the median of, uh, points are found recursively and retained. Uh, in shell extraction, a hypersphere, uh, which increases uh, iteratively, uh, is considered and uh, the points within those hyperspheres are removed. In PSA, reg uh, regression of data and the scatters of data are considered, and in uh, IR, IR, MD, the matrix uh, of data is decomposed, and the, ba uh, the points which are closer to the uh, bases are considered to be more important. Now I explain uh, our approach, our proposed method, uh, which is uh, based on polyhedron curvature. But before that, uh, we review some background on polyhedron curvature. Uh, a, pol a polytope is a geometrical object in uh, RD whose faces are planar. Uh, our, its special cases are polygon and polyhedron. Uh, polygon is a polytope in R2 and polyhedron is, uh, is a polytope in R3. Uh, and now consider a polygon where, uh, or a polyhedron where uh, tau j and mu j are the interior and exterior angles at the jth vertex. Uh, you, can, you can see an example there that uh, we have a polyhedron that uh, it has a uh, tau 1, tau 2, and tau 3 as its uh, interior angles and mu, uh, mu 1, mu 2, and mu 3 as its exterior angles. Uh, it's a, clearly, uh, we see that tau j plus uh, mu j is equal to pi. Now, uh, the, the, again, consider that uh, figure. Uh, you can see that uh, the that uh, the exterior angles are in the opposite cone of the polyhedron. And now consider a unit hypersphere uh, around the vertex, and uh, the, consider the intersection of that uh, unit hypersphere with the opposite cone, uh, which uh, constructs the mu one, mu two, and mu three. Uh, there is a theorem proposed in 1603 by Thomas Harriot, uh, which says that in, th in this case, uh, where the, we have triangular uh, faces, if the geodesic on the unit sphere is a triangle, its area is uh, equal to mu1 plus mu2 plus mu3 minus pi, or 2 pi minus uh, uh, tau1 plus two, uh, tau2 plus two, tau3. And, uh, if we generalize this theorem from a geodesic triangle uh, polygon or trigon to an k-gon, uh, this formula becomes mu1 uh, or this area becomes mu1 uh, plus 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 mu k uh, minus uh, k pi uh, plus 2 pi, which is equal to 2 pi minus the summation of uh, those in interior angles. Uh, this formula is important because uh, it's also 
called Descartes' angular defect, which Rene Descartes proposed uh, centuries ago, which is equal to 2 pi minus summation of the interior angles of a vertex in the polyhedron. It uh, can be easily shown. It can be easily shown that the total defect of a polyhedron uh, with v vertices, e edges, and f faces is the summation of uh, th those Descartes angular defects, which is equal to two pi multiplied by v minus e plus f. Uh, the term v minus e plus f uh, is a very famous and it's called euler poincare characteristic or just Euler characteristic of the polyhedron. Uh, you can see in this figure that the smaller the interior angles uh, at the vertex, uh, sh uh, the less sharp, uh, less sharp the that uh, vertex is. So we can consider the angular defect as the curvature of the vertex because when the angular defect increases, uh, which means that when uh, the interior angles uh, decrease, uh, the curvature increases at that vertex. In this paper, we consider the uh, Descartes angular defect as the curvature of a vertex in the polyhedron. Now that we have uh, explained the background, we propose uh, the first method in this paper, which is curvature anomaly detection or CAD. Uh, in this method, uh, we consider every data point in the data set uh, to be uh, as a vertex of a hypothetical uh, polyhedron. And for every, uh, for, uh, we do this, uh, these are the steps of the method. For every point, we find it, its k nearest neighbors. The k neighbors of a point, which is considered as the vertex of the polyhedron, uh, form the k faces of a polyhedron meeting at that vertex. You can see an example in this figure. The more curvature a point has, the more anomalous it is. Why? Because uh, the more curvature means that the less uh, interior angles and the less interior angles means that the, that point is uh, further from its neighbors. So uh, far, it's far away or different from its neighbors so it can be considered as anomaly. Uh, so we can say that anomaly score is somehow proportional to the curvature of that vertex. Now we uh, propose our first method in the paper, which is curvature anomaly detection or CAT. Uh, recall that De Descartes' angular defect was 2 pi minus summation of the interior angles. Uh, therefore, curvature can be considered uh, pro proportional to uh, minus the summation of angles. Uh, hence, uh, it, has, uh, it is inversely proportional to the angles. So the uh, anomaly score is in, uh, inversely proportional to angles. And if we consider the angles to be between 0 and pi uh, without the loss of generalization, uh, the, uh, it is uh, proportional to the cosine of the angles. So the anomaly score uh, can be the summation of the cosine of the interior angles for every point. And uh, the cosine we know is equal to the uh, dot product, uh, normalized dot product. Uh, therefore, and uh, we, here we define x prime of a or x hat of a as x a minus x i, where the x i is the point uh, which we want to find its curvature, and x a is its, its neighbor. And we uh, we want to uh, find the, the angles, the cosine of the angles. Uh, which uh, share the same plane, but uh, it is too hard, hard and time-consuming to find which neighbors share the same plane in the polyhedron. Therefore, we relax this a little bit uh, to find to obtain the uh, formula down the slide. Uh, this relaxation is uh, valid, uh, and this, uh, in this relaxation, we consider the angles between all the neighbors of a point, uh, and this relaxation is valid uh, because. Uh, when we increase and dec or decrease uh, the angles between the any uh, two neighbors, this uh, increase or decrease coincide with the increase and decrease uh, of the angles in the planar uh, angles. Now that we have uh, found the anomaly scores of all the points of a data set, uh, for training data, in order to find out which point is anomalous or not, we can uh, plot the scree plot and see 
the pattern of the scores or we can uh, apply k-means with two clusters uh, one cluster and anomaly and the other one normal and cl cluster with larger mean is considered to be anomalous because uh, it has a higher anomaly score uh, for out of sample data we can have k and for out of sample points but the neighbors are from the training data and we calculate anomaly scores and co uh, compare the means of clusters uh, with the anomaly score the closer cl uh, cluster is uh, determines whether that point is uh, anomalous or normal however the pattern of the uh, normal and anomalous data points might not be linear therefore it's useful to propose kernel curvature anomaly detection or kcat which does the uh, performs the cat in uh, the feature space rather than in the input space and uh, two things two steps are done in the feature space uh, one finding kenyor's neighbors and the second one is calculating the anomaly score uh, consider uh, phi to be the pulling function in the uh, to the from the input space to the feature space and uh, the kernel is uh, equal to phi uh, x1 transpose phi x2 and uh, you, according to one of the papers and it is easily uh, provable that Euclidean distance in the feature space is equal to the root of uh, the kernel of xi xi plus kernel of xj xj minus 2 kernel of xi xj uh, and we use this in order to find the uh, distances of the points in the feature space and uh, then uh, we find the uh, kernel uh, of uh, x a hat and x b hat which was defined previously and so for every point x i we have a kernel matrix uh, k i which is k by k because we have k neighbors for every point uh, and we normalize that kernel why because uh, if you remember in the previous slides we had a uh, cat we had cosine which was x uh, i transpose x j over the second norm of xi second norm of xj so uh, that uh, inner product was uh, somehow normalized therefore it is in the feature space it is equivalent to the normalization of the kernel and so we normalize the kernel as it, uh, you can see in this formula again uh, we uh, this is the formula uh, for the score of uh, in kcat uh, anomalous score and we can again use a scree plot or uh, k-means clustering and uh, one thing that uh, was interesting that in for some of the kernels we saw uh, empirically we saw that for example in for rbf for laplacian and polynomial kernels we saw that uh, the scores are inversely ranked and uh, we don't know the reason yet but we conjecture that it is it lies in the characteristics of the kernel and we defer it as a future work for those uh, kernels we multiply the scores by minus one or uh, we consider the cluster with the uh, smaller mean now we define some a new concept named uh, anomaly landscape uh, which is the landscape in the input space whose value at every point in the space is the anomaly score computed by cat or kcat for that point and we can have two types of anomaly landscape wh whether all the training data points are used for the kenyor's neighbor or merely the non-anomaly or normal training points are used for KNN. We also propose anomaly path, which is the path that an uh, anomalous point should traverse to become normal, or a normal point uh, should traverse to become anomalous. Uh, or a not, uh, this is interesting because we can see that uh, what is the normal version of an anomalous point, or vice versa. And for that, uh, do you remember that uh, we've uh, proposed the anomaly score? Uh, and if we take the gradient of that anomaly score uh, for CAT, uh, we come up with this formula where, whose uh, derivation can be found in the archive version of the paper uh, but we cannot do this for kernel uh, cat because uh, it does not have an analytical derivation this anomaly path has different uh, applications such as image denoising which you will see in the experimental results cat uh, and uh, kernel cat uh, were proposed for uh, for the sake of anomaly detection now uh, if we uh, look at uh, 
uh, anomaly detection from the opposite the direction, uh, we see that it, it can be seen as prototype selection, ranking based uh, prototype selection where the, uh, the points with uh, low uh, anomaly scores can be considered as more uh, normal or prototype. Uh, so therefore, we uh, propose inverse uh, CAD or ICAD where we multiply this anomaly scores by minus one. Uh, it's so simple. Uh, it has two versions. Uh, if you remember, we said that we have rank based and retaining based. For rank based, we uh, rank the data points with the ranking score. And uh, for retaining based, we apply a K means clustering uh, uh, on the uh, ICAT uh, uh, scores. And we take uh, the points uh, with a larger, uh, the cluster with a larger mean, and uh, the re we throw away the cluster with the smaller uh, mean. Again, we can have a kernel ICAT where uh, the kernel uh, CAT scores are multiplied by minus one. And it is noteworthy that ICAT and kernel ICAT are task agnostic and can be used for either classification, regression, or clustering. You can see that some uh, results are anomaly landscape uh, for some synth synthetic data sets. Uh, you can see that in CAD, uh, usually boundary points are considered uh, determined as uh, anomalous. However, this problem does not exist for kernel uh, CAD. And also you can see that the op uh, opposite uh, ranking of the scores in, uh, for the RBF and polynomial kernel in this figure. Here we also see the anomaly paths for CAD in the different datasets, uh, synthetic datasets. It's, it's so interesting that it is like uh, climbing the mountains in the uh, anomaly landscape. One of the applications of uh, uh, anomaly path is image denoising. For that, uh, for example, we uh, considered the freight dataset and we took one of the frames and we applied different kinds of noises like uh, Gaussian uh, noise, Gaussian blurring, salt and pepper, and JPEG blocking, uh, blocking uh, on the, that frame, and we try to denoise uh, that frame using uh, the anomaly path, and you can see that the, that frame is denoised correctly. Uh, we ex uh, applied uh, our CAD and KCAD method on the several datasets, which are speech, op digits, uh, arithmia. Uh, wine and mask, and you can see that uh, usually KCAT has better performance than CAT, but CAT is useful, for example, for anomaly path and uh, different uh, other things. And in many cases, we are better than the baseline methods, which are uh, isolation, forest, LOF, SVM, and EE, and we are also very fast. We also tried uh, to see what is the effect of K on our approach, and you, you can see that uh, for one of the data sets we tr tested and saw that usually the, our CAT and KCAT methods are robust to change of K, especially KCAT is more robust. Here you see some uh, the prototype selection uh, ICAT and uh, kernel uh, ICAT on some syn synthetic uh, data and you can see that uh, the prototype selection has been correctly done. Finally we uh, did some experiments on, uh, of ICAT and uh, kernel ICAT on uh, different data sets like PIMA and image segment for classification, Facebook data set for uh, regression, and Iris data set for clustering using different methods uh, one nearest neighbor, uh, LDA, SVM, and linear regression, random forest, multi layer perceptron, K means, and Birch clustering. And you can see that we outperform many other baseline methods which are. Uh, IRMD, PSA, SOS, SE, and SDM, uh, and drop three ENN and different things. Or uh, and the last column is no reduction, uh, and SDM is also sorted by distance from mean. These were these baseline methods were explained in the related work. And you can see that we outperform them in many cases in both accuracy and time, and uh, in both ranking and retaining based approaches. As a future work, we can try the idea of curvature for manifold embedding to propose curvature pro uh, preserving embedding method. And uh, thank you for your notice. Uh, bye.